Hello everybody, welcome to our first game of Democracy 3 Let's Play. Democracy is a government simulation game that was first developed by Positech Games in 2005, with a sequel released in December 2007 and a third game in 2013. Democracy 3 can be found on Steam for $24.99 and it is available and it's a very fun game to play so let's get started. Uh, we will be playing as the United States. The United States of America is a federal republic consisting of 50 states. The USA is the third largest country by the land and population and is also the world's largest national economy. With an estimated 19% of total global GDP when measured by purchasing power par parity. The country accounts for 39% of global military spending despite containing only 4.46% of the global population. The U.S. President acts as both the head of state and the head of government, as well as commander-in-chief of the U.S. Armed Forces. Population, about 316 million people. Um, life expectancy, 78 years. GDP per capita, 49th. Thousand poverty level 16 percent majority white religion majority Christian and yeah let's get let's get to it so we will play as flare nation and we will go against We'll go against the Socialist Party. We'll keep everything on. Four years per term, two term limit. Difficulty 100, Socialism 100, liberalism, Liberalism 100, and Political Apathy, which is percentage of people willing to vote. So, as I vision my country and how I want America to be, I want to focus on capitalism as well as the conservatives at first the people you know the tradition of America and as we move on through the, the terms and the years we will become more and more liberal so congratulations on your election victory welcome to your new job as president the lives of all 316,668,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that we'll need to deal with as soon as possible, while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you're faced re-election in four years, so you will need to monitor the opinion polls and our party membership. Good luck. We have relatively good GDP. Our health is poor. We have high pretty high poverty levels, education can be improved, crime needs to go down, and unemployment needs to go down. So I've played this game a couple times, and our debt is $3 trillion, which is nothing as realistic as the real debt. We're at somewhere around, like, I think $19 trillion as of today, which is November, December now, it'll be December of 2015, and we're coming up to the 2016 elections really uh, are coming up pretty soon well not coming up soon but like the campaigning for it has been going on ongoing with Donald Trump in the lead and Ben Carson in second for the Republican Party and Hillary Clinton in the lead and Bernie Sanders in runner-up for the Democratic Party as says the polls so our income is lower than our expenditures we have some deficit in our budget and we need to change that so let's go and check where is the majority of our money being spent military spending which is very true <coughs> so we will lower it down to well where they are still highly trained but just barely so it will go from 226 billion dollars to 166 billion dollars and this extremely lowers the Patriots opinion of you it lowers unemployment and liberals are actually getting a little bit happier because of this so military spending and there are some ideas some policy ideas that we could put in place and I am going to put the com community policing 
working with the community rather than attempting to control it. Community policing encourages the pol police to better understand the needs of the local community, especially in areas with ethnic minorities. Critics see it as an expensive waste of money, which could be spent on more direct methods to cut crime. Well, the great thing about this is it lowers antisocial behavior by a bunch and alcohol abuse by a bunch. Also increases liberalism membership and racial tensions go down, violent crime go down, crime goes down, liberal liberals opinion goes up. So overall it is very good for what I'm trying to do as president. I'm trying to increase liberal liberals opinion of us by a bunch. We're trying to keep the capitalists happy. We want to keep the middle class happy. We do not care as much about the retired as or the motor, motorist or the trade unionist. We do need to make sure that the ethnic minority are not unhappy because they are likely to assassinate us. So let's move on to the next um, quarter. Debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate, limit agency activity, or allow agencies to operate. Limit agency activity. These agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest in our society, often tricking them into borrowing money at exorbitant rates that can never be repaid. This is little more than extortion, and the government should act at once to limit severely the activities of such unscrupulous companies. Well, I personally don't believe that you can really just take advantage of them that much. I mean, they do have a choice to borrow the money, and if they choose to not use it wisely, they should be using the money for you know, the things that matter, such as food and shelter, and if they choose to use it for things like luxury clothing, vacation time, other things, then it's not a very good idea. Um, I personally do not believe that uh, we should uh, spend more money in limiting their activity allow agencies to operate. Nobody forces people to borrow money they can't repay, and to restrict the rise of debt agencies to recover legitimate debts would be counterproductive. I, this is what I agree with. People need to learn to live within their means and not expect the state to bail them out of trouble if they cannot learn to do so. Alright, so there's uh, the charts of our economy. These are the people's opinions. And that is our office. We will fix our office pretty soon. So since military spending is so much, something else we need to also lower is state pensions. So we want to lower too low. Yes, this will make the retired very unhappy, but they have worked really hard and I think that they are willing to sacrifice a few years of some retirement money in exchange for us to help bring the economy back together. So this also is good because the socialists, um, socialist membership goes down. We do not want it to be none. We are not that mean. We will just put it to the point where it is low. And let's apply the changes. And law and order. We want to do the Race Discrimination Act. Prevents citizens being discriminated against purely on the basis of race, racist employment practices. And it takes one quarter to implement. It's only a few million dollars when you're dealing with a, a budget of trillions. A couple million dollars is really nothing. So this is really good. It increases the liberalism uh, membership as well as lowers racial tensions. So let's continue to move on. <coughs> Whaling. A resolution is be 
before the government proposing the reintroduction of small-scale commercial whaling in Japanese waters. Whale meat is a prized local delicacy and commercial whaling would create many jobs. Resume whaling. Whales consume an enormous amount of fish and may be responsible for a drop in fish catches that affect our economy. Whaling would be also provide a welcome boost to our economy. Not every species of whale is endangered and commercial whaling can go ahead without danger of causing extinction. Keep ban in place. Whales are generally accepted to be the amongst the most intelligent non-human species on Earth. They maintain a crucial position in the aquatic food chain and yet have been hunted close to extinction. Restarting commercial whaling would be incredibly destructive as well as potentially causing a drop in tourism. We should refocus our f efforts on whale watching rather than hunting. Well, if the cause is to drop tourism, I don't think that's a very good defense. Um, it is in a huge position in the food chain, but it is culturally um, strong in the Japanese culture, uh, and that they are not going to go extinct if it is for it, it will help the economy, and there are not all whales are endangered. So I believe that we should resume whaling. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hopefully it is. It's what I believe, so we will go with it. So there's one last thing. Oh, well, actually, everything's pretty fine right now. We will have to reshuffle them when someone gets below one so that uh, we can get them all on the same, uh, what they all like the same um, sympathies so that when we start to change the opinions of the people, then um, they will uh, allow us to get the most uh, points to make changes. So I will work on re lowering antisocial behavior as well as alcohol abuse. Those are my two primary focuses right now. And we will, we currently have a surplus of $154 billion, which is great. And let's see. We want to So antisocial behavior. Not the police force. Let's see. Yes, we want to create uh, increase police force to maximum for just now. It will increase conservatives. It will also extremely lower antisocial behavior and alcohol abuse. And alcohol consumption, alcohol law, we will increase this so that there is an ample evidence that excessive consumption of alcohol can lead to health problems and even premature death. However, some people object to the state inferring interfering in an individual's right to choose what he or she can drink. There's also the complication that the government can make a lot of money by taxing alcohol. Well, I believe that we should make a strong restriction and it only does positive things except for liberals don't like it and the youth don't like it. But alcohol consumption needs to be fixed, so we will make that change for now. And what else? Let's get a policy in place. Let's do the Enterprise Investment Scheme. The Enterprise Investment Scheme is a system which gives tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their money in small startup companies which are based in this country. The scheme encourages investment in companies which should eventually grow and stimulate the economy, with at the same time giving a popular tax break to people who invest in them. Obviously, indirectly, the scheme is being subsidized by those without savings to invest. It, we are going to max that out. It is very good. It also lowers socialism. And it is good for those who want to be self-employed. And let's uh, move on to the next turn. Our credit rating has been upgraded to a A. Stress epidemic. Doctors have warned that our businesses are working people too hard, which is leading to dangerously high levels of stress for people with full-time jobs. There are calls for limits on the hours that people work to be better enforced by central government. Well, 
people are going to have to work to get this economy back on its feet. Alright, so we have someone at 1. So we should start reshuffling the cabinet and this will help us in the long run. So foreign policy. We want the capitalists and the youth. Capitalists and patriots. Foreign policy. Foreign policy. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we'll go with the first person. Welfare. Welfare, patriots and capitalists. Economy. Liberals and environmentalists. Hmm. We don't fix liberals right off the bat. It takes some time. So. Economy, economy. All right, well, we'll go with environmentalists and capitalists. Taxes. <coughs> we do not want religious. They will not like us. Taxes, taxes. Socialists will not like us. Alright. Who else for tax? Farmers and religious. Hmm. Conservatives and trade. Yeah, the trade unionists are going to hate us. Alright, we'll go with the conservatives and environmentalists. Public services. Public services. Liberals and parents. Hmm. Go with liberals, environmentalists, law and order. Trade unionists are going to hate us by the end of this. Capitalists and ethnic minorities. And that's for law and order, law and order. Any other good law and orders? Liberals and parents. I'd rather go capitalists and ethnic minorities. Transport. Religious capitalists. Trans liberals and parents, environmentalists, commuters. Commuters are gonna like us later. And we'll go. Hmm. I don't know. I think we'll have a better bet with them. Or farmers and liberals. Let's go farmers and liberals in the long run. Okay. So we should have that being taken care of pretty soon. Police force. No. All 
All right, let's get some policies in place. We want the welfare fraud department. We want some undercover agents. We do not want welfare to be okay. It's not acceptable. And we will be working on a few of these soon. Adult education subsidies. We need this. Okay. Next turn. GM food proposal. A number of large agricultural companies are interested in growing genetically modified GM food on our soil. Some food can be genetically mount <coughs> manipulated to allow for longer shelf life in both disease and herbicide resistance. Opponents are concerned about the potential risks associated with alerting the food chain. With altering the food chain. Farmers are divided on the issue. Allow GM pro crops, ban the sale of GM food. Well, I believe GM should be available. Um, yes, it hurts the smaller farmers, but it is good for you know third world countries. Anything if you if we have a better way to improve agriculture. Why not? GM crops have huge potential benefits. Not only do they increase shelf life and thus reduce costs for their shelves, but they can also reduce the need for pesticides, thus meaning less harmful chemicals in use during their productions. It's also possible for foods to be created with other benefits such as improved vitamin content. Okay. And We also want to get public libraries, youth club subsidiary, subsidies. So this youth club subsidies, free youth clubs ensure that teenagers have a place to go which can help them to stay out of trouble in the long run reduce the incidence of street crime. It can be resented by some wealthier taxpayers who see it as an unnecessary expense paid by, for by their taxes. You gotta, you gotta invest in the youth. You got to. University grants. Public libraries. Bringing that all the way up. And let's. We need to make an investment into bus subsidies. And there we go. On to the next turn. Antisocial behavior. The situation is now at an end. Finally. Also, our budget is low, so we need to increase our budget again. Landmine ban. An engineering company in our country has just won a contract to manufacture and supply landmines for foreign countries. At the moment, there is no specific law that prohibits the company from making these products, but there is a widespread public pro debate that we should ban the production of landmines within our borders. I would definitely ban landmines. <coughs> um, just over time, there's going to be a lot of deaths after the incidents of using them for the future and we'd rather just prevent that so landmines cause so many civilian deaths that there really is no way we should condone the manufacture of such weapons they are a crude weapon dating back to the first world war and there is no justification for their use today if banning these weapons cost us a handful of jobs then that's the price we should be happy to pay i am going to go with that the polls are going up we are now at 55 percent the Human Rights Society says this actively encourages its members to oppose the current government. Well, that is not good. And the Human Rights Society, they are growing numbers. And they are becoming a threat. And we have the alcohol abuse. So we can tax alcohol. 
alcohol tax. We'll do that on the next turn. Arts. We want to get the art subsidies. Increases liberals. And we want to get free school meals. Okay. Well, that was the timer, so that's the end of the first episode of Democracy 3. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more videos on this series as well as any other series that I have, then feel free to hit subscribe. I really enjoy Happy that you are watching these videos and you're there's something to learn, something that you guys want to leave in the comments. Feel free to ask me questions. And until next time, Flare is out. Thank you for watching.